Hey guys, this is your friend Mayanag from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and today we are going to discuss something about Revit structures. So we are going to create a 4 into 4 room in Revit structures and we are going to create some structure members like beams and columns and we are going to do the detailing of it and we are also going to try and add some extra features in the detailing part. So let's get started. So first of all, as you can see, this is a new project which has been opened in uh, Revit structures and we have chosen metric template so the units will be metric and you can choose as per your preference so first we need to create levels so we can go to any of the elevations here and by the way we are using uh, Autodesk Revit 2021 version of it so this is the latest version right now so uh, the level below we can define it as our foundation level let's give it uh, you know a distance of this one let's give it a distance of minus 1200 mm so this is this will be our plinth level let us take this as our foundation level now we want to make a level above it for that we can go uh, to the option of your structure let's say and then uh, levels and then we'll define a level using this this is the easiest way and we'll define an offset of let's say 3200 and we'll just click on this and this is our ground floor and this will be our first floor so we have created the levels for our g plus one building and now we can uh, watch that and verify that in all other places as well so this is our levels which have been created along with foundation for our g plus one four into four room so now now we can go to our per one particular level we can go to a level one for making the things you can just click on this or you can also you know go to the level one using this so this is the level one so now in this level one we can make uh, a room so for that we'll go to the structure option and after going to the structure option we have the option of your let's say we have the option of grids so in the option of grids let's just draw a random line here will be a it will be a straight line and after drawing this line we can uh, select this this one that is the pick lines options we'll give an offset of 4 meter because we want 4 meter into 4 meter rooms so so that will be 4000 and we are going to make this this side and we are going to join this so this is already been joined so after joining this we can you know define an offset line pick lines and 4000 so the offset lines have been defined now we can simply select on this and we can extend the nodes and here also we can extend the nodes so this is our 4000 into 4000 room which has been created or the grids for the 4000 to 4000 room that is 4 meters into 4 meters room has been created now now after that what will you do we will create some structural members so this portion we will cover in the upcoming video where we'll put some structural members and we'll also do the detailing part so for that stay tuned to our channel and do watch our next video that's all for today bye bye we have launched for you a complete recorded course on g plus 3 building design using tecla structural designer in which all the aspects of your planning structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course we'll also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you so what are you waiting for hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description